Hey guys, sky 2 Quadi here, trying to get some sleep and get this video out to you real quick. This is the second attempt doing this video. What you're looking at is my former iFlight Turbo B 2.5 inch quad. The same one that went up the hill, the mountain last weekend, very easily. Well, the same evening, I crashed and hit a tree, broke the arm. Could not believe it, it was pretty embarrassing. So I was looking for a, another 2.5 inch quad, copter uh, frame, and I ordered one on Amazon. It said Cinepic, it was the iFlight Cinepic pick. And when I got it in, I found out that it's a three inch quad frame and so to my disappointment at the time i tried to pull my 2.5 inch motors the original well the 1105 5000 kbs that i upgraded from the original one i could not get it to stretch to this to this mount so i was looking at the old motors that i had that i was really complaining about not complaining about I was not uh, satisfied with the hdlrc set up with the sector 132 and have an 1106 motors these on this big quad it just made no sense the thing was 171 grams without anything on it and to have those motors on it just seemed ridiculous but on this build totally different story hglrc if you're listening man those 1106 3800 kb 4s on a 13 amp stack on this frame and this frame and this setup it comes out to 87 grams that is a beast compared to it having to pick up 171 grams to 87 grams. I'm telling you, I was doing barrel rolls around trees and my friends could not believe it. Like, Dude, is that a 6S or what? People were just stopping to look at this thing because it was so crazy, insane fast. And I'm not here to sell you anything, guys. You know, that's not the way I am. So I'm just telling you, if you are a better pilot than I am and you run with this setup, uh, I've heard a lot of guff about 110x motors whatever that they're not great with three uh three blade props but hglrc's motor here this uh 1106 3800 kv is perfect in my opinion for 4s it's got great low end i mean i was flying this thing at just 40 percent throttle and it was just sh shooting and hitting the trees i mean it was it seemed like it was it was hard to fly at first i had to get used to it because it had so much freaking power and i was just running it off the uh with some 450 milliamp tattoos that are puffed out like heck. And then crazy, I mean, getting crazy punch outs and, and flight time about, uh, I wanna say, probably about five minutes you're gonna get if you use a Tattoo R line 650 milliamp 4S. It's up to you, really light with this and you're gonna get some crazy punch outs in either setup. Um, so yeah, so that's the frame. 13 amp EFCs on 4S, I didn't think that it would be able to fly like that or be able to handle the 4S. I thought it was gonna blow out motors, but then again, like I said, these motors can definitely handle it from HDLR, LRC. Um, the XM Plus, I decided to, to mount it a little bit different, uh, kind of old school style, not old school, but just a way to protect and get long range on my antennas, because typically I'd put the XM Plus antennas on the, on the bottom of the quad and zip time down this way. So instead, if you can see, I, I took uh, the standoffs, I took some heat shrink, put it over the top of the standoff, then I put the, the uh, shrink wrap around with the, uh, the zip ties and it is they're secure even with in a, during a crash or whatever this, this is secure and flexible it's not going anywhere um, also i saw the cinepic uh, a lot of people complaining and a lot of videos showing tons of jello well i'm here to tell you that my uh, my snot method with just the hot glue in the frame works great I mean, I just filled it up like a jelly donut. You can see all the all the glue here and all the hot glue here and all the hot glue here. Yep, it was probably took up one stick, so it's probably about two to three additional grams, but it makes it rock hard, a solid frame in between. There's no shake, no wiggle, and very little jello when it's flying out, even at top speed. And like I said, again, guys, if you guys are experienced pilot and you can fly really well and you like a fast quad that is crazy insane punches, this setup is it and this setup is to me is is show me it's it's reliability going up those mountains and just taking the beating i've had this had this setup had this heart of this system this 13 amp i flight uh 16 by 16 stack i've had this for close to close to a year and a half now and just flying it all the time and it's been very reliable so really digging this setup guys very lightweight and uh yeah you can get the frame at amazon right now i believe that is only 17 dollars. so i picked up two of those 
and the stack you can probably also get there or race day quad the 16 by 16 stack 13 amp esc i believe that's only like 45 dollars as well and yeah the motors i'm not sure if you can get the hglrc uh, 1106 3800 mo kb motors separately i would look around see if it hglrc sells them on their site or if you can get them on banggood but uh hopefully i get some fight videos for you guys this weekend and that's all i have for now you guys have a good night and i will talk to you soon all right take care sky to quality signing out